Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are doing well. It is Monday. You know that it's Monday. Hey, hey, hey. Hello to Cast62. Hello to Lunar what Lunar Channel. Lunar Channel. Hello. Hey Valian. Hey Bestie72001. What's up? Donald Dave. How you guys doing? I said Donald. I think it's Donut Dave. Hope you guys are doing well today. You know, today's Monday. What you guys do this weekend? That's what I want to know. Before we get into the game, I want a little weekend recap. All right. Tell me what you did. Also, shout out to by gj happy birthday to you hope you have the best birthday in the world coco bella long time no see well guess what we're back oh wow j fell bomb said snow removal wow that doesn't that doesn't sound fun sloan law traded in their car that's fun right i mean i like that someone else went to church someone else had a party wow you someone watched football wow a lot of things oh Someone else said something not so good happened to them. But you know what? I hope you get another job. You know why? Because, yes, hope you get another job. Also, concert. Wow. You guys did a lot of good things. All right. You guys look like you had fun. Someone did said video games. Anyway, I hope you guys are ready for, for this Monday to go well. All right. We're going to have fun today, of course. We're going to do a lot of good things. Uh, speaking of that, someone said they ate chocolate. And you guys know that today's National Toffee Day specifically English toffee day. So now I want to get me some chocolate after this game just because of that person who said that and just because of that. Also, Ruth R. King, Happy New Year to you too. I forgot. Yes, Happy New Year to everybody. This is my first time talking to you guys since the new year and um, I hope you guys' new year starting off great. I hope you guys are going to have the best time in the world. And you know what? I know that I am. You know why? You know why? Because first of all, it is National Clean Your Desk Day. So get ready to clean us out in the Monday edition of Daily Trivia Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your beautiful home. I said home, phone. Now, listen, you guys, if your little bits of knowledge are neatly stacked and organized, you do well as you play for today's grand prize. You want to see it? Let me show you. Look at that. Bada bing, bada boom. That right there is one thousand dollars. And when you correctly answer 10 multiple choice general trivia questions, you are going to win your share of it. So in this game, you'll earn one bonus SB for every single question you get right after question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. Now, if you win the game, they're automatically added to your prize. Otherwise, you have to claim them at the end of the game to keep them, you know, simple. Now, the first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin to get another shot at the grand prize, either using SB or with a free rejoin. So make sure to click the plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu anytime a game's not happening and get you some rejo free rejoins by watching videos. Now, each game, we give away a 500 SB prize to one lucky player who wins and claims at least one SB in the game. And Thursday's winner was... The Malloy H. Shout out to you. Congratulations. You've already been credited. All right. Now, everybody else, keep playing and claiming because next time the winner could be you. All right. Now, you guys, I think it's time, isn't it? Let's breathe in, breathe out. The comments need to be dusted off. So let's get them out of here and get this game on the road. So let's get to question number one. Here we go. Where in New York City? Does the giant ball drop on New Year's Eve? Is it Central Park, Wall Street, or Times Square? Central Park, Wall Street, or Times Square? Now, yes, it looks fun, obviously, but listen, keep in mind that once you show up in the morning, you're staying in your pen for the whole day. So you guys, make sure to bring snacks and get ready to live in Times Square for a little bit. Times Square is the correct answer, and I didn't have to tell you that. 16,492 of you guys got that one right, and you knew that Times Square was the correct answer. Am I shocked? No. Most people watch this, so that's why most people know. That's 97% of you who got that one right and knew that Times Square was the answer. And you know what makes me happy? The 2.9% of you guys who didn't get it right have already rejoined. That's what I'm talking about. Let's move on to the next question, which is worth one bonus SB. Here is question number two. What southern U.S. city is known as the Big Peach? Atlanta, Charleston, or Jackson? Atlanta, Charleston, or Jackson? The Big Peach. 
Yes, this city has peaches everywhere, okay, including like 100 different peach tree streets. But this name actually comes from a 1940 roadside fruit stand in Atlanta whose giant peach sign became a landmark. I said it, Atlanta, it is. 15,728 of you guys got that one right and you knew that Atlanta was known as the Big Peach, which is why you hear people refer to themselves as a Georgia Peach. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, over 1,300 of you guys did get that one wrong, but it's okay because guess what? Over 1,200 of you guys have rejoined. I'll give you a few more seconds to rejoin and keep on going. You guys, we have eight questions left. All right, it's too early to leave. Ready for the next one? All right, here's question number three worth one bonus SB. Which of these comic strip characters is a detective? Kathy? Dick Tracy or Marmaduke? Kathy, Dick Tracy, or Marmaduke? Now, instantly recognizable by his yellow trench coat, he's been fighting organized crime in the city with the help of his two-way wrist radio. You guys know who I'm talking about. Dick Tracy never rests when it comes to keeping the streets clean. Dick Tracy is the answer. 16,037 of you guys got that one right, and you knew that Dick Tracy is the detective who is solving those crimes. So shout out to Mr. Tracy. And shout out to all of you guys who got the one right also. Makes me happy. That put a smile on my face. Let's move on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Here was question number four. Fun to play with, not to eat, was a slogan for what toy brand? Play-Doh, Yahtzee, or Pound Puppies? Play-Doh, Yahtzee, or Pound Puppies? Fun to play with, not to eat. Now, it's minimally toxic, and even with that good news, you still shouldn't be looking to make a meal out of a canister of what? Play-Doh, people. It's way better to just make things out of it or even smell it, because let me tell you something. I still remember that Play-Doh smell. 16,474 of you guys got the one right, and you knew that Play-Doh was the correct answer. How many of you guys remember that smell? You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's so distinct. I can't even, like I, it's hard to, if you never smelled it, it's hard to explain, but if you have, then you know. Moving on to the next question worth one bonus SB, question number five, we're halfway there. What is the name of the tissue that connects muscles to bones? Abs, tendons, or pecs? Abs, tendons, or pecs? Well, not only do they allow us to move, but they actually prevent muscle injury by absorbing some of the impact when we run, jump or do other movements so you guys regular exercise will keep your tendons healthy and strong but just make sure not to overdo it all right 16,403 of you guys got the one right and you knew that tendons was the correct answer that's literally 99 percent of you oh shout out to you guys you guys are killing it today and by the way if you're anything like me overdoing it is not an issue all right i need to actually do it that's the problem shoot Moving on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Here's question number six. What secret society uses the motto, liberty, equality, fraternity, and solidarity? The Illuminati, Skull and Bones, or Freemasons? The Illuminati, Skull and Bones, or Freemasons? Serious question here, huh? All right, so they may be a clandestine cable bent on world domination, but if you go by their motto, the Freemasons are just about hanging out with friends and doing good deeds, apparently. Freemasons is the correct answer. 12,778 of you guys got the one right, and you knew that the answer was Freemasons. Now, this is the first question where we had less than 85% of you guys get it right. A lot of you guys thought it was the Illuminati, while the other ones thought Skull and Bones. But the majority of you guys did say Freemasons. But this time, I'll give you, I'll give you a, a, a few seconds. You know what I mean? We already have over 2,800 of you guys who have rejoined. But let's get to like 2,850. We're almost there. We're almost there. Are you guys still having fun, by the way? I hope so. I'm assuming that I heard you guys say something. Moving on to the next question. Worth one bonus SB. Here is question number seven. William the Fridge Perry was famous for playing what sport? Tennis? American football or baseball? Tennis, American football or baseball? So the guy's nickname came from his sheer size, you guys. Even though he played defense, he was so difficult to bring down that the fridge had few goal line runs for touchdowns, entering him into football lore forever. You heard what I said? American football is the correcto answer. 
shout out to all you guys who got that one right. That's 14,201 of you guys who got that one right and knew that American football was the correct answer. That's 91% of you guys. That's what I'm talking about, 14,201. I like that. You guys, we only have, what, 8, 9, 10, 3 questions left. All right, so breathe in, breathe out. Let's move on to the next question worth one bonus at speed. Question number 8. What band put out songs like Wish You Were Here, Money, and The Wall? Pink Floyd, Fleetwood Mac, or The Band? Pink Floyd, Fleetwood Mac, or The Band? You tell me. Now, they're prog rock legends whose album Dark Side of the Moon is heralded for its tracks and how it syncs up with The Wizard of Oz. You guys, it actually does it. Pink Floyd is the correct answer. 13,495 of you guys got that one right and you knew that Pink Floyd was the answer. That's 90% of you. This is actually a very impressive game. Like the lowest we've gotten so far is 78% of you guys who got it right, which is actually very good. All with two questions left. Hey, give yourself a pat on the back. Moving on to question number nine worth one bonus SB. Let's get to it. Complete this quote from The Godfather Part 3. Keep your friends close, but your enemies in your car, at room temperature, or closer. You know, I have a feeling that everyone's going to get this right, but we'll see. Let's face it, you guys. When you're in organized crime, you can't trust anyone. So keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. So you always know what they're up to. You heard what I said. Closer is the correct answer. 14,234 of you guys got it right. You knew that closer was the answer. And guess what? You made it this far and you're ready for our final question. But before we get there, quick reminder. There are two ways to get SB from Swagbucks daily trivia outside of our live games. Now, one is through the daily trivia challenge, the quick hostess version of our game that you can play on your schedule up to twice per day. Second is by clicking the more ways to earn button wherever you find it in the app. Now, both of them will get S will get you SB towards your daily goal. Also, that more ways to earn button is where you'll find tap joy. And if you're not already doing your daily tap joy offers, you're missing out on the chance to check off daily discover on your to do and rack up a bunch of easy SB. Come on, people. Come on. You got to do it every single day. All right. Now, let's breathe it in. Breathe it out. Thank you so much to whoever just said you rock, Deshola. You know what? You rock too. Oh, 6 3 SG. All right. Final question. Question number 10 worth one bonus SB. Let's get to it. Which of the following dishes is generally in order of pigs in a blanket, ice cream sundae, or bone in ribeye? Pigs in a blanket, ice cream sundae, or bone in ribeye? Now, a good hors d'oeuvre stays off your hunger, you guys, without filling you up. So you have plenty of room left over for the actual meal. All right. I'm just saying a nice pig in a blanket gives you the kind of satisfying bite that you need. Ah, pigs in the blanket is the correct answer. 13,805 of you guys knew that answer. And guess what? You, my friends, are splitting our grand prize. Ah. Shout out to all of you, the winners today, Emma Bay, 1186, Lizzie 6, Hellhouse 186, Hannah Holder 3, and AF Good, to name a few. Shout out to all of you guys, and congratulations to all of you guys who are splitting that grand prize. Now that you have all these new SB in your account, you already know what you got to do with them, right? Redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other immaculately amazing places you guys thank you so much great job today make sure to be here tomorrow i'm going to be here again so see you tomorrow for another one thank you for playing daily trivia live and we'll see you then